In our decimal and percent course, a student has to be able to convert fractions to decimals or percents, decimals to fractions or percents, percents to decimals or fractions. Here we have 0 0.385. To convert it to a percent, we simply move the decimal place two spaces to the right. And it becomes 38.5%. Don't forget to write the percent sign. To convert 0 0.385 to a fraction, we start by counting how many digits do we have after our decimal. There are three. So we put a fraction line, and we put a thousand underneath it. We put a multiple of ten that has three zeros, one for each of these digits. On top, we put the number 385. This is now a fraction, but we should reduce it. We look for a common factor between the top and the bottom, and I can see that these are going to have a common factor of 5. If we divide both the top and the bottom by 5, we get 77 on the top, and we get 200 on the bottom. This fraction cannot be reduced, so we are finished converting our decimal 0.385 to a fraction. To convert a fraction, to a decimal, we take the numerator and we divide it by the denominator. We can do this in our calculator, or if required, we can do it with pencil and paper with long division. 7 divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.875. We now have our decimal. To convert the decimal to a percent, we move that decimal two spaces to the right, and we get 87.5%. When we start with a percent, we can convert it to a fraction very rapidly by saying 46% must be equal to 46 over 100. The word percent means over 100. So any number with a percent, you can put the number on the top and 100 on the bottom. If we reduce this fraction, we see that 46 and 100 have a common factor of 2, and we can divide both top and bottom by 2. We end up with 23 over 50. This fraction cannot be reduced, so it is our simplified answer. To convert 46% to a decimal, we have to realize that there is a decimal right here after the 6. And we move that decimal two spaces to the left. We end up with 0 0.46. We take away the percentage sign because this is no longer a percent, it is now a decimal. 46% is equal to 23 over 50, which is equal to 0 0.46. 7 eighths is equal to 0 0.875, which is equal to 87.5%. 0 0.385 is equal to 38.5%, which is equal to 77 over 200. No matter what we are given, a fraction, decimal, or percent, we can convert it into either of the others.